It is on behalf of Natalie and Scott that I want to welcome you here today as we seek God's blessings in the joining of their hands in marriage, that this is just a start of something very special in their lives. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you every day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It's standing together, facing the world. It's forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget. It's the common search for the good and the beautiful. And it is not only in marrying the right person, it's in being the right partner. Natalie, it wasn't long ago that you dragged me out to a movie about a guy who had a list of requirements that he wanted in a wife. And I had to laugh afterwards, not just because it was a bad movie, <laughs> but because before we met, I too had a sort of mental list of things that I was looking for in life. One of the first things that I knew was I wanted to find someone with nice eyes and a nice smile. But I wasn't just looking for these in the conventional, superficial sense. I was looking for someone with kind eyes and a warm and happy smile, because I believe this translates into the person's personality, which also goes hand in hand with some of the other things I was looking for. I was looking for someone who was warm, caring, compassionate, and kind. And as it turns out, I was right for once. <laughs> your kind, beautiful eyes and your warm, happy smile truly do represent your personality. You're easily the most caring, thoughtful, and selfless person I've ever known. And it's written all over your face when you smile. You genuinely love to see me and everyone else you care about happy. You celebrate my accomplishments, big or small. So, while I'm not sure it's possible to keep up with you in these areas, I promise to try. I promise to celebrate you. I promise to love you. And I promise to cherish you forever and always. Because you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I truly don't know what I would do without you. Scott, I could have never dreamed that meeting you on a beautiful September evening could lead to standing here with you today, and I'm so thankful. I feel so fortunate to be your partner, and I'm honored to vow to you today a lifetime together. I promise to be by your side through whatever challenges that life will undoubtedly have in store. I promise to try to sit through a movie without talking or getting distracted before the opening credits are complete. <laughs> I promise to be more spontaneous even when your proposed activity isn't already on my carefully crafted agenda for the day. <laughs> While I can't promise you that I won't shrink your shirts, <laughs> I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to cherish our relationship. I promise to support you and to be your biggest fan. I promise to put us first and to love you wholeheartedly forever. Thank you for always pushing me to be better and challenging me when I need it. Thank you for being my support system on hard days and always knowing when I need a hug or a word of encouragement. Thank you for loving me, for supporting me, and being the best partner I could have ever dreamed of marrying. I can't wait to continue our lives together and spend forever with you. I love you today, I love you tomorrow, and I love you always. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. 
May the Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord always look upon you with his favor and grant you his peace. I present to you for the first time Scott and Natalie Bastoni as husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails.